Welcome to Advanced Wars Instruction once again. I this dialogue should be familiar to Yar. Yeah. Oh, let, okay, let's see how Max does against Eagle. Sorry, Andy, but uh, Max has to show show everyone else up. Okay, let's get this on. First thing you should notice that yes, you are fighting Eagle, but the good news is there is no fog of war. I was gonna have to yell again. Okay then. Now then. The, now then. The the bottom section of the of the board. Or why did I say board? The bottom section of the field doesn't have very much anti-air stuff, I guess. Stuff. So you can send your two fighters down there. Because we because we've seen so far how annoying fire fighters are block up that first bridge with the... No, actually... Yeah, block up the first bridge with the copter and have... an... an, an indirect unit <laughs> or two sitting behind. Of course, Max says that weakness in indirect combat, but that's okay. And it's not that big a weakness. Okay, I've moved everyone. Let's... Get the song. Oh yeah, and Eagle Gang is CO power and the first or second turn is pretty much unavoidable. In other words, oh There's the anti-airs. So anyways... You should have your CO power on the second or third day, depending on what you did. And I'm not so... And I'm not so sure that... That having to to succumb to what that anti-air is going to do to me is worth risking destroying one B copter or I don't know something like that. Yeah, I'll take a risk. Given how strong Max's CO power is, you should be able to reduce that anti-air's HP to the point that it won't do very much against your air units. Maybe three or four hit points, but... Air units are strong enough, so that even when they lose three or four hit points, you're still good to go. Did I mention there's no airports here? Again? Jeez, makes me wish they had a terrain where you could just not build an airport, but repair the airport there. Of course, in Advanced Wars DS, they had black boats, but that's another story. Not much to say, it's pretty general. Yeah, take out the bombers first. Cause then you can get the copter later with the anti-air. And one thing I found out is that anti-airs are actually not that bad against tanks. As long as they attack first. Sort of the same as mechs. So 
don't you hate it when, when the air units fly overseas to where they can't get hit? This always happens. Good thing fighters have that large movement. But that large movement means they use up fuel a lot faster. That's combined with the fact that air units burn fuel every day. Let's see, I think it was two for copters and four for planes. And as luck would have it, Eagle reduces this fuel loss. Another thing I hate, which just happened right now, is when an enemy unit moves one space away from your in from your missile slash launcher rocket. Because you know, if that happens, you you can't fire at them because they're too freaking close. Got this little index card in my hand that says, If the subject does not show himself, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Hmm. I guess they picked the wrong guy for that job. For those of you who don't play Kingdom Hearts, you'll never understand that illusion. I win! Oh, look at that. Each Q is in an uncapturable position. Oh well. Max is best at blowing everything up. Even though his missions just happens to be the easiest in the series. In this- in- in Green Earth, I mean. What you know. What- I You know what I mean. Same dialogue. Man. Starting to get a little boring. 